This is section three of our new subject about IELTS test, IELTS listening test. Um, before we start, Spiros and Hiroko, thanks for coming it in today and to talk about your recent study experiences. And congratulations to you both in doing so well in your first semester exams. I'd like to discuss with you the value of English for academic purposes course you did here last year before starting your university course. Spirals, if I could start with you, what parts of the program have now proved to be particularly valuable to you? I think that having to do a seminar presentation early really helped me. For example, a couple of weeks ago in a marketing subject, when it was my turn to give a presentation, I felt quite confident, of course. I was still nervous, but because I had done one before, I knew what to expect. Also, I know I was well prepared and I had prioritized my timing. In fact, I think that in relation to some of other people to, in my group, I did quite a, a good job because my overall style was quite professional. What about you, Hiroko? Um, that is interesting. In my group, I was really surprised by the way the students did their presentation. They just read and said notes aloud. Can you believe that they didn't worry about their presentation style or keeping eye contact with their audience? And I remember that this. And um, these, um, so how did you, and um, these things were really suggested to us in the course here. So how did you, what is this? Approve, approach. Um, how did you approach as your, uh, the center presentation, approach your presentation, Hiroko. Uh, that was, you see, over text. Uh, well, to speak frankly, I really, I did my notes too. At the time, it was a relief to do it with it this way. But actually, when I had finished, I didn't feel any real sense of satisfaction. I didn't feel positive about the experience at all. That's a pity. As you know, although I was pleased with my presentation, I am not so pleased with my actual performance like now in the tutorials. During the whole semester, I have not said anything in our tutorial discussions not a word. Really, Spiros, why is that? Do the other students talk too much? It's partly that, but it's mostly because I have had no confidence to speak out. Their style of speaking is so different. It is not the style we were used to during the course. They use so many colloquialism, and they are, they are not very polite, and sometimes there seems to be no order in the discussion. Also, and they are very familiar with each other. So because they know each other's habits, and they can let each other into the discussion. You are right, Spiros. I have experienced that too. For most of this semester, I've said absolutely nothing in tutorials. 
But recently, I have been trying to speak up more, and I just jump in, and I noticed an interesting thing. I noticed that if they thought my point was interesting or new, then the next time they actually asked for my opinion, and then it was much easier for me to be part of the discussion. That's great, Pirogo. I hope that happens for me next semester. I'll have to work hard to find some interesting points. What helped you to find these ideas? I think that one thing that helped me with this was the reading. I had and to do so much reading this semester just to help me make sense of the lectures. At first, I couldn't understand what the lecturers were talking about, so I had to turn to the books and journals. Every night I read for hours using the lists of references that were given, and I made pages of notes. At breakfast, I read and read my notes again. This habit has helped me to follow the ideas in the lectures. And it's also given me some ideas to use in the tutorials. But um, I did so much reading. I did so much reading anyway. I don't think there's any time left over for anything extra. My reading speed is still quite slow, though I am much better at dealing with vocabulary than I used to be. What else do you think we could add onto the course program to help with this reading problem? There's there is not really there's not really anything because it's my problem. I remember we were given more articles to read. We didn't like that, but now I realize that reading those long articles was good preparations for the things I need to read now. Also, in class, uh, we regularly have a speech reading tasks to do, and uh, we kept a record of our reading speed, so the teachers were encouraging us to work on that. That is true, Spiros, but what we did would have been different. Sometimes in the English class, I felt frustrated when I had to read articles about the environment or health or education because I wanted to concentrate on my own field, but I didn't read anything about engineering. So I think I wasted some time learning vocabulary I didn't need. But surely the strategies you were taught for dealing with that vocabulary were helpful. Yes, but um, psychologically speaking, I would have felt much better working on reading from my own field. What do you think, Spiros? I agree that would, that would have helped my confidence too and I would have been more motivated. It was good though that um, we could work on our own topics when we wrote the research assi assignments. Okay, let's move on to writing now. And then in the end, uh, the formal request, if you have not yet, please subscribe to the channel and press like and button to get the first command. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time. Goodbye.